Welcome to another episode of Foreverscape TV's Junk I Used to Do in Lightwave. Looking for a displacement map in Blender? In the Lightwave world, all you'd have to do was create a plane, subdivide it a few times, send it to layout, and then add a displacement map. You could then pick the procedural noise type and adjust the parameters. To do this in Blender, create a mesh with Shift A. Make sure you're in mesh edit mode. You can hit tab to switch between layout and mesh mode, or you can click on the drop down. Once in mesh mode, right click on the object and select subdivide. You can pull up the little drawer in the lower left hand side of the viewport to set the numerical value, like you used to do in Lightwave with the N key. Click the wrench icon and select, oh, you know, just one of these. Select displace. Hit the plus to create a new surface. Name it. Click on the surface icon or the settings link icon to edit the surface attributes. Then you can select the type of procedural texture map to create. Now you may be wondering why the mesh isn't updating the geometry. What the F? In order to see the updates, you have to hit the tab button or manually switch to layout view. Now, say we want to animate this deformation to make a very simplistic water mesh. Well, you're in luck. On the wrench icon panel, right click on any property of the displacement modifier. This will create a keyframe on the timeline. In the timeline panel at the bottom of the screen, enable record mode to record the new values. Here, I'm moving to the end of the timeline and setting a new value. Now, there's a new corresponding keyframe. And now you can play it back. Okay, so say you don't want it to be animated and use the mesh as an editable geometry instead. In Lightwave, you'd have to freeze the object, then re-import it into Modeler, make your modifications, and then send it back to Layout. Now, you just have to hit Apply in the Modifier dropdown. This will apply the geometry to the mesh and now you can edit the deform mesh any way you want. Well, Godspeed on your Lightwave to Blender journey. Don't mourn the loss too much, embrace the change, and remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.